What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying this content, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, today I wanted to take a moment to talk about working with pattern parts and instrument parts on the same track, more specifically, overlapping them when needed. So, pattern parts, introduced in version 4, essentially they are a mini step sequencer that's encapsulated within an instrument part. Now, Instrument parts are more like a MIDI region for people who are coming from other DAWs. Essentially, it's an event that has note data or MIDI information within that part. But they're similar, but actually two very different things. So I've got a basic pattern set up over here. Let's have a quick listen. So the idea here is that I want this pattern to go into another variation. So let's take variation two, and I'm going to duplicate this, and let's rename this variation three. And then what I want to do is I'm going to erase the crash symbol, and also I'm gonna erase the back half of the hi-hats. So now what happens when we listen to this is we can actually size this down. So let's move this over to here. And if I was to bring this in over here, and actually we don't need this to be that size as well. Let me just double click open here and I'm going to make the second one is now going to be variation three. So now this is what we hear. And this one actually needs to be variation two. So let's have a listen. So the idea is that the back half of this is left open. Now, rather than me try to do the math on uh, changing my resolution and changing the amount of steps and maybe changing the amount of steps of this entire pattern, what I want to do is I want to just program something using kind of traditional MIDI, if you will, and I want to insert that and have it play in addition to this pattern. So what I'm going to do is we can double click and that will really quickly create an instrument part and we can view either melodic mode or the drum mode. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the alter option and I'm going to click another pattern really, really quickly. And I'm just going to go to hats closed and I'm going to change this to 16th triplets. And let's just draw across here really quickly. If we go into the velocity, we can adjust the velocity. And maybe what I want to do is just adjust these so that there's a little bit of differentiation between these. Now, that's good enough for me because I'm going to do, I'm just going to use that as a starting point. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately, I'm going to click the G key and this will turn this into an instrument part. Now, I'm going to actually go to my melodic mode here. Uh, velocity, let's go to part. And what I can do now is anything that I would be used to doing in terms of my traditional MIDI editing. One thing, for example, that I could do is I could select all of these and I could adjust their start time. Maybe I just want to have that be like a little bit late to give it kind of a lazy feel. And then what I want to do is I only need a half bar of this. So I'm going to take this. This is now playing on its own, sounds like this but it's still triggering the same instance of Impact XT. So now what I can do is on this section, let's click P to loop this. We have no hi-hats in this pattern in variation three. I can just drag and drop this over top. So that's a really quick way to combine pattern parts and instrument parts. It's a little bit confusing but it's a really easy way to be able to take something that you need to create that you just want to program it in straight MIDI using the piano roll, either the drum mode or the melodic mode, and then you can actually combine it, which I find to be really, really useful to be able to just say, all right, I like this pattern. I'm just going to create a variation of it, and I want to do something completely different, but I'll just program that in MIDI, and when I'm done, I'll just slide that in place, and then the two of them can play together off of each other, and it ends up being just a really nice workflow to be able to get it to work. So now I have my pattern, variation two. And of course, you can extend this out and you can make this workflow do whatever you need. But the variations are a really cool things to use in patterns. And quite often, instead of trying to do complicated math, I will simply delete a section and then I will create the instrument part in straight MIDI and then I'll just drag it over top. 
Anyways, just a really quick tip that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope that you found this useful. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.